Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel that knows nothing. I'm Jim and let's get to it. Anyway guys, today we are doing the next bit of the bookshelf tour, so let's just get to it. It's the biggest bookshelf that I have and sneak preview. This is going to be interesting. I'm not sure how tall my tripod goes, so... <sighs> Bad news everyone. Um, the tripod does not go that high, so it's just me on a chair. <laughs> Sorry for shaky cam, that's coming up. So I'm just gonna try and do this the best way I know how to, which is probably not pulling them out because this camera is a bit heavy. So first up I have Nice Try Jane Sinner by Leanne Oakley, Justin A. Reynolds Opposite of Always. Then after that I have Linda Morley Hunt's Fish in a Tree. Then Summer Skin by Kirsty Eager. Also on this shelf I have some cute little knickknacks. Barb was my favourite character in Stranger Things. This is a present I got from one of my friends, which is a bit funny. Um, this is my old phone. <laughs> I didn't know where to put it, so uh, that's it. Um, and then I got two pop vinyls. I got Stitch and Simba. They're a little bit dusty, um, but I think they would be best buds. Um, then up here I got my two groups. Um, I've got just a little like Monday blues thing. Then I have some Harry Potter Lego, the Quidditch scene. Um, Spider-Man, because he's the best. That was a present from America that my cousins got me. I forget where they got it from, but I think it was from one of the science buildings that you can go to. Um, then I got a lot of pops that are special to me still in their boxes. So I got Spyro, Dash, Audrey 2, Seymour, Lexa, Supergirl. Then we got Holzman back there, you can barely see it. And then David Bowie from Lapin. And then also I got these two art figures. Okay, back to the actual books. I've got One Would Think the Deep by Claire Zorn, Clownfish by Alan Durant, Melinda Lowe's A Line in the Dark. Then I have The Impossible Story of Olive in Love by Tonya Alexandra. Then I have Jackie French's Ophelia. Then I have The Meaning of Lif, which is by Douglas. Adams and John Lloyd. Then I have Zach and Mia by AJ Betts. Songs That Sound Like Blood by Jared Thomas. Then I have The Book of Lies and The Master of Books by James Maloney. Next up I have You by Caroline Kipps. Next up I have a fairy tale trilogy series which is by William Joyce which is Nicholas St. North, Easter Bunny Mund and Tuthina. Then I have the Girl with All the Gifts and The Boy on the Bridge by M. R. Carley. Then I have Rachel Quarles' Spark. David Yoon, Frankly in Love. Then I have Melina Marchetta's Finnegan of the Rock. Then I have Solomon Chainana's The School for Good and Evil. Then I have A Tragic Kind of Wonderful by Eric Lindstrom. And last on this bit of the shelf, I have Connie Glynn's uh, princess series, so I have Undercover Princess, Princess in Practice, and The Lost Princess. It's killing me, holding the camera. It's not even that big, but I'm dying. I'm still gonna have to hold it for the next shot because it's not quite big enough and it's gonna have to be on a horrendous angle. Anyway, I'm sorry guys. So I'll just go over the little knickknacks first. So this was my very first phone <laughs> that I just like to keep around because it keeps me humble. Um, but I love it. Uh, then I have this little keychain that I got from Madame Tussauds. It's just got Oscar, Clapper, kind of everything that I want to be in life on it. Um, then I got two toothlesses. And then I got this little frog with a love heart. And he's sitting on a love heart too. My mum got me this when I was really sick in hospital once. So it's kind of very dear to me. Anyway, to the books. First up, I've got Lonely Planets, the best things in life are free and then the big trip then i have the rhyming dictionary by penguin then i got the beast's heart by ilfi shellcross then i have a kiss and time and beastly by alex flynn 
Then I have Philip Reeve, The Mortal Engines, Idaho, by Emily Ruskoff, Gregor, The Overlander, by Suzanne Collins, Moonshadow, The Eye of the Beast, by Simon Higgs. Next up, I have two Tashi books. So I have Tashi and the Phoenix, and Tashi and the Genie, by Anna Finberg, Barbara Finberg, and Kim Gamble. Then I have The Dog Who Loved a Queen and The Donkey Who Carried the Wounded by Jackie French. Then I have The Lie Tree by Frances Hardinge and illustrator by Chris Riddell. Then I have All My Friends Are Superheroes by Andrew Kaufman. Next up I have Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. Then I have Becca Fitzpatrick's series, Hush Hush, Silence, Crescendo, and Finale. Then I have Tom Fletcher's The Christmasaurus and The Creakers. Then I have Note to Self by Connor Franta and also A Work in Progress by Connor Franta. Then I have In Real Life by Joey Crisefa, Girl Online by Zoe Sugg, Neil Patrick Harris's Choose Your Own Autobiography. Then I have Username Evie by Joe Sugg, and then I have Two Regenerates because someone accidentally gave that to me as a gift twice and forgot. <laughs> it was my parents. And last up on this shelf, I have Grace and Style by Grace Helbig. This is what I'd like to call my Harry Potter shelf. And there's like two things on here that aren't really Harry Potter. But I have the Addams Family musical signed by... Dickon and Grandma, I forget their names, which is horrible. Yes, signed by Valda and Dickon, and I actually met Carrie there as well. I went to Singapore specially to see it because it's Adam's family and Carrie Hope Fletcher. So there's not really much space to pull them out on, so I'm just going to say them. I know that's not the whole thing of it, but these ones are rough quite big. I might do it with the ones that are a little bit smaller on the end, so let's just get into it. So first up I have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It's a much fancier illustrated version of it by JK Rowling obviously. Then I have Harry Potter Film Wizardry and it's not really by anyone but it was published by the Collins Design. Then I have Harry Potter The Creature Vault which is a little bit similar to Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them but it just goes over the the animals and creatures that you come across in the Harry Potter movies rather than in Fantastic Beasts and that's by Jodie Reveson. Then I have Harry Potter A History of Magic. Then I have the four illustrated Harry Potter books all by JK Rowling. So Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and they're all illustrated by Jim Kay. And then I have another version of the Harry Potter novels which all have really cool pretty covers and on their spine they line up to make Hogwarts so I have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone because let's be different. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and lastly I have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. So I forgot to show you what's on this shelf, but I have two little Lego minifigures, so I have... I finally got it in focus a little bit. So then I got Mountboy and Cedric, and I thought they were really cool. So I thought I'd leave them here in my Harry Potter bit of the shelf. And then over here I have a koala sitting on a shot glass, because why not? And then I have a baseball sitting on a shot glass too. Um, my parents got me this one in the States. You probably can't see because it's a little bit out of focus because my camera hates me. Anyway, it says, Imagination is more important than knowledge by Einstein. And they got that for me because imagination. <laughs> and then they didn't really pick this for anybody else, but I decided to steal it because I liked them. So next up I have Tales of Beetle and the Bard, Quidditch Throughout the Ages, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And then I am also collecting the Slytherin editions of Harry Potter because I don't think you can ever have too many versions of Harry Potter. And to be honest, I don't really have that many. There's only three and I know people that have way more than that. And then up next I have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay. And I also have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, The Crimes of Grindelwald, 
the original screenplay, both by J.K. Rowling. And then I have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, parts 1 and 2 by J.K. Rowling, John, Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. And then last up on this shelf, I have Little Prince, Art of the Movie. If you haven't seen it, I can highly recommend watching it because it's the most beautiful animation I have ever seen in my entire life. And it is stop motion, so you can be even more impressed when you see it. Okay, I'll just go over the knickknack first. So this is a helmet that I got in Italy when I went. I think it is from Pompeii. It is one of my favourite things I've ever gotten anywhere in the world because it is awesome. Anyway. <laughs> so I decided to put it on the classic shelf. So this is the classic shelf that I was talking about last time. I think maybe even the time before that. Um, so these are all the classics that I have. And let's just go over them. So first up, I have The Count of Monte Cristo by Alex Dumas. Then I have Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Then I have A Little Book of Unspoken History by Elif Sezen. Then I have Winter's Tale by Mark Helprin. Then I have Labyrinth by Kate Moss. Then I have Joseph Heller's Catch-22. I have two copies of Frankenstein. I have the 1818 text and the normal text by Mary Shelley. And they don't really differ that much except that his cousin isn't his cousin in the later text. So it's a little bit more modern for modern audiences. Then I have James Joyce's Finnegan's Wake. Then I have Melina Machete's Looking for Alabrande. Joan Lindsay's Picnic at Hanging Rock. Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. Then I have The Bridge to Tethiberia by Catherine Patterson. George Orwell's Animal Farm. The Boy and the Striped Pajamas by John Bourne. Then C.E. Hinton's The Outsiders. Man's Search for Mini by Victor E. Frankel. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Anthony D. Saint's The Little Prince. Then I have two copies of George Orwell's 1984. I'll just go over this little knick-knack first. So it's Stitch on the Eiffel Tower. He's a little bit broken. You can blame my sister for that. She dropped him. Um, anyway, I got it when I went to Disneyland in Paris. So it's a little reminder. Also, Stitch is the best. Then I have Bram Stoker's Dracula. Then F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby. Then I have Robert Louis Stevenson's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and other stories. Then I have William Golding, Lord of the Flies. The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, Aldo Huxley's Brave New World, Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen, Mark Azuzak's The Book Thief, Wild by Cheryl Strayed, The Elephant by Peter Carvance, E.B. White's Charlotte's Web, and then on the last bit of the shelf I have Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. First up on this shelf I have 101 Things to Do Before You're Old and Boring by Richard Horn and Helen Cezes. Then I have The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagwa. Then I have The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Then I have Patrick Ness's The Rest of Us Just Live Here. Then I have The First Raven Boys book by Maggie Schnanapa. I think that's wrong. I'm so sorry to fans. I feel horrible. Then I have Tony De Lorenzo's The Search for Wanderla, A Hero for Wanderla, and The Battle for Wanderla. Then I have A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Then I have Reckless by Cornelia Funk. Then I have When My Heart Was Wicked by Tricka Sterling. Then I have Beyond Clueless by Linza Alicenza. Then I have Bones of the Fairy by Jenny Lee Sinner. Next up, I have Orson Scott Card's Ender's Game, Struck by Lightning by Chris Colfer, Fangirl and Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, The Truth About Alice by Jennifer Matthew, Are You Seeing Me by Darren Groth, Boys Don't Cry by Mallory Blackman, Nicola Hayes' One True Thing, You're the Kind of Girl I Write Songs About by Daniel Herborn, 
David Michael Slade House, The Other Side of Nowhere by Steve Johnson, the first two in the Tomorrow When the War Began series, so I have Tomorrow When the War Began and In the Dead of Night by John Marsden. Then I have Pretty Little Liars, which is the first Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepard. Then I have Ali Carter's All Fall Down. Then I have John Stevens, The Emerald Atlas and The Fire Chronicle, and those are the first two in the Book of Beginning series. This is the last shelf on the bookshelf, which I'm sorry about the angle again. Honestly, this video is so horrible so far. Shaky gam and horrible angles. Anyway, let's get to it. So first up, I have Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse and Breaking Dawn and The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I also have the special edition of the first Twilight, which also has life and death, which is Twilight Reimagined. Next up, I have China Mivelle's The City and the City. Then I have One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McMagnus. Then I have Derek Laney's Skullduggery Pleasant, the first one. Then I have Katie McGarry's Pushing the Limits and Dare You To. Then I have Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. Ali Connie's Match. The Sacrifice Box by Martin Stewart. Then I have Big Little Lies by Lane Moriarty. G. Fletcher's You're the One That I Want. Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller's Other World. The Definition of Us by Sarah Harris. Jane St. Anthony's book Isabel Day Refuses to Die of a Broken Heart. A Taxonomy of Love by Rachel Allen. Laura Creed's The Love Letters of Albertard and Lily. Harry Mansago's Stalking Jack the Ripper. So last up on my shelf, I have a bunch of the book series, a bunch, about four, oh god. Um, so I have the Shakespeare book, the literature book, the psychology book, and the mythology book. Anyway guys, that's all that I've got for you today. Please like, subscribe, because that is always nice, and hopefully a new book tour will be coming up soon, and also the rearranging of my shelves, so yay for me, moving books, finally. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye!